The Advanced Wellbeing Research Centre is all about innovations that help people move. So innovations are products, but also how you implement those products out in the big wide world. So in terms of people, uh, it's about the whole population. It's about youngsters to older people. It's about those who are sedentary to those who are already moving and those who are perhaps just about to get gold medals. So we'll be having referrals from GPs about physical activity. We'll have discharges from hospital into those centres and there will be uh, also the private sector who are very much wanting to develop healthier lifestyles for their employees as well. So this facility will be one of a number of facilities on this site and we can use this centre to help people in the neighbourhood to engage in physical exercise, to improve their well-being and to develop healthy lifestyles. We were very excited by the prospect of being involved with, with a really innovative scheme uh, with the AWRC which fitted almost exactly from, a, from a, an ethos perspective between the two organisations and when you do have a problem it's knowing that there is something there where you can be diagnosed, treated and rehabilitated in a positive way. What we want to do is with our commercial partners we want to prove what works. So we'll take a gadget, how do we use that to motivate people to move more? Now if we work it out and we get it working in the population and we get a population to move more, we need to tell the rest of the world how we did it. Healthcare is, is, a, is a global issue today, it's, it's not just a local issue, it, it affects the whole global community. And, and what I hope we can do through this partnership is to start to develop some research that can change clinical pathways. So, you know, in terms of obesity and diabetes, can we start to avoid some of these issues by the wellness agenda, by exercise, by prevention? And similarly, we cannot prevent everything. And when you do have a problem, it's knowing that there is something there where you can be diagnosed, treated and rehabilitated in a positive way and, and we call that changing clinical pathways. This is only one part of that bigger picture for Sheffield. This is about wellness, this is about physical activity. What we're then going to move on to is developing the hospital 2050, the care 2050, the patient pathway, cradle to grave. We have got to see how we can affect that in a positive way that reduces dependency on the health service and actually looks at lifestyle and personal sustainability.